Let's move on to the next main topic today. And the next main topic today comes to us from Mark Wallace, who writes, After the massive critical bombing that Dark Phoenix has experienced, would the studio behind 355 really be dumb enough to let Simon Kimberg direct this film instead of finding an actual talented director? All right, thanks. A little harsh, a little harsh, Mark, but, but understandable. You know, we were just talking a few minutes ago about X-Men Dark Phoenix and the critical reception that it's got. It's not going to have a great opening weekend. This is probably going to be one of the lowest, if not the lowest opening weekend for an X-Men film ever. I'm guessing probably around 35 million, maybe 35 to 40 million is my guess. And hopefully it's much higher than that, but I mean, it could. And we talked a lot about Simon Kimberg making that his first directorial effort. We've also been talking in recent days about this movie 355, which quite frankly, I'm really excited about. It's being spearheaded by Jessica Chastain. Now, this was an early cast picture. Um, the, you see Marion Gotiard is in this picture. She's not in the film. I believe she's been replaced by Diane Kruger. But still, you've got Penelope Cruz, Jessica Chastain, uh, uh, Big Big Fang, who was also, by the way, speaking of X-Men, Big Big Fang was in um, X-Men Days of Future Past as Blink. She was Blink in that. Uh, and, of course, my future ex-wife, uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, one of the most... Uh, I get tongue-tied just looking at a picture. Of, she's It's so ridiculous how beautiful she is. Like, it's just ridiculous. I, I just get frozen for a second every time I see a picture of her. Anyway, we've been talking about this 355 movie for a while. It's a movie they're putting together where it's about a bunch of female super spies from different countries who've got to learn to work together and get over their distrust of one another because of a larger threat. So I don't know what that is, obviously, but it's a fabulous-sounding thing. And interestingly enough... Simon Kimberg is attached to direct it. So that brings up the question. Now that they've seen what has happened with X-Men Days of Future Past, it's going to have a rough opening weekend. It is the lowest critically rated of all the X-Men films, even though I thought it deserved better. I don't think it should. I think, I think X-Men Dark Phoenix is definitely better than X-Men Wolverine. I think it's definitely better than X-Men Apocalypse. I think it's better than X-Men The Last Stand. So it's not the worst X-Men film, but bottom line is really bad critical ratings and probably not going to do well financially. These are the sorts of things that studios do not look nicely upon when considering directors to bring on board for their own big projects, right? I think there's a couple of different ways to look at that, though. One of the ways to look at that, though, with 355 is the whole notion that, you know, on the one hand, you can say, OK, uh, he blew it, you could say. If you wanted to be really harsh about it, you can say, Kimberg blew it. We don't want to let him anywhere near our 355 movie. However, if you want to be an optimist, I, I would propose to you there is another way to look at it. And that way of looking at it is this, and there's, there's two points I want to make here. The first one, which is not terribly as important, but Jessica Chastain is the one kind of spearheading this 355 movie. And she obviously worked with Simon Kimberg on X-Men Dark Phoenix, and she thinks he's got it. So there's that. But more importantly is this. Simon Kimberg is clearly a guy who is good at the film business. Again, like I said, he has written and produced some marvelous films. He understands decent filmmaking. He's just never been a director before. He had never directed anything before Dark Phoenix. So I would want to say is, you know, he just had a crash course in directing. He just did a big blockbuster film and maybe it didn't work out the way we had all hoped, but he's got that under his belt now. You could almost make the argument that he just had a $150 million education, right? Now, obviously, the best thing is to go, oh, he made his first film and it was an Oscar contender. Sure, that's the best thing to say. But, you know, even the best minor league prospects coming up and, and the highest touted prospects coming up into the major leagues, they'll strike out their first couple of times at bat. You could make the argument he just had a harsh education. I remember there's this one great story. That, that somebody used to, people used to tell me, and it goes like this, there was an executive at IBM who had like a junior vice president. And this junior vice president made a mistake 
that cost the company almost $80 million, right? So this executive calls this junior vice president into his office and they go over the situation and then the guy, the executive says, okay, well, let's just make sure that doesn't happen again. And the junior vice president says to him, you're not firing me? And the executive says, fire you? Kid, I just spent $80 million on your education. I can't afford to fire you. Which I, I think there's, there's some real golden nuggets of wisdom in that sort of mentality. You know, it's not like Simon Kimberg has made five films and they've all trashed. It's not like he's made five films and they've all been critically disappointing. It's not like he's made five films and they've all had box office disappointments. This is a guy who's got a reputation in this business. He just did his first one. It was a bad one for him to do as his first one, but he did his first one. Now he's got one under his belt. It's probably, I would be okay. You know, if I'm the studio executive and Jessica Chastain still wants to use him, I'd be, you know what? Hopefully he learned a lot from that first experience. Let's roll the dice and let him do a second one now. So I think he will end up directing 355. I think he will. He might not. They, they might get cold feet and pull the plug on it. I don't know. But I think they will, and I think he deserves a chance. So Because, again, I don't think X-Men Dark Phoenix was a complete disaster. He made a lot of mistakes. Hopefully he's learned from his mistakes. It was his first time out. Now let's see what he can do that he's got a little bit of experience under his belt. But what do you guys think? If you're a studio executive right now, do you go, yeah, let's stick with Simon Kimberg to direct 355, or do you pull the plug on it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know what you think.